uh, called Robert the Bruce, um, starring Angus McFadden, uh, taking place um, shortly after the capture and uh, death of William Wallace. Um, after Robert de Bruce got his crown from Scott uh, to be the king of Scotland, uh, and year, years of taking up the sword uh, and trying to do what William Wallace started, um, but failing several times, his army is all but through, and there's a price on his head, not only from England, but he now has to uh, face a uh, Scotland man who want the reward um, that they're promised for the, the head of Robert the Bruce. Um, while, while fending off his, some of his former men, uh, he gets injured and left for dead. Um, well, lucky for him, he's found by a family who bring him back to health and through their strength, he, he uh, gets better and, and decides to f raise an army again and fight. Um, After, after healing himself, after getting healed, um, and bonding with his family, he would unite with his men and eventually, um, after 30 years of fighting, um, lead Scotland to freedom like William Wallace had tried. This is a pretty epic uh, movie for a B movie. It's a high quality B movie and it's nice to see that the uh, the guy who played William Wallace and er I mean uh, Robert the Bruce, rather, in Braveheart, reprised the role. Um, so that's why I think this is an unofficial sequel to Braveheart. And uh, let me tell you, it's very good. So I give it a, a 5 out of 5. It's really well done uh, and it's very worth watching um, so um, so I highly recommend it uh, you can find it on the PlayStation Store or maybe somewhere on DVD and Blu-ray or possibly streaming on other networks. Um, so until my next review, watch those movies, like my videos, and subscribe to my channel. Leave any comments you might have on my comment section. Bye.